3D or three-dimensional printing is a process in which objects are built by fusing or depositing materials in layers. Each 2D slice is added to the previous to create simple to complex objects that may be difficult to construct using other manufacturing methods. 3D printing is considered additive as material is added into the object under construction versus most manufacturing methods that remove excess material. Objects can be manufactured out of almost any material including plastics, metals, consumables, and even living tissues. Medical applications for 3D printing are expected to revolutionize healthcare. From prosthetics to organs to implants and anatomical models are providing new methods to make the doctor's job easier and our lives better. Personalized medical products can be tailored to the individual patient. Special tools and devices can be created when needed in the operating room. 3D, 3D printing can provide cost savings and increased collaboration over traditional methods. We would like to provide the history, current uses, and possible glimpse into the future of 3D printing in healthcare. To create an object, you need to supply instructions to the printer. These instructions can be derived by taking slices of the object as specified in a computer-aided design or CAD file. Each slice acts as a 2D print and is laid out uh, in one of several different processes. In the basic setup, the print head can move in the XY plane, extruding melted or liquid material onto the previous layer where the material sets up. Each layer builds on the previous, slowly creating the object. Charles Hole invented stereolithography or 3D printing in 1984 after recognizing the issues with creating plastic specialized tools from polymers while working for the ultraviolet products in California. Prototypes often took weeks to be machined and defects could cause further delays. By using CAD specifications, he discovered he could create tools in hours instead of days and have better control over quality. Hull later founded the company 3D Systems in 1988, which developed the first commercially available 3D printer called a stereolithography apparatus. Since then, other companies and researchers have advanced Hull's work to revolutionize manufacturing and medicine. In 1999, a synthetic scaffold is implanted in a human patient who is undergoing a urinary bladder augmentation. Through the use of 3D technology, it's possible to use bio-printed printing to create a naturally derived 3D constructs. With precise arrangement of growth factors and other cellular components into a patient-specific scaffold. In 2002, a working miniature 3D kidney is engineered that can filter blood and produce diluted urine. This event sparked interest in using the technology to print organs. The need for organ transplants has increased dramatically, but the available organs have not kept pace. This technology has a major impact on prosthetics. In 2008, the first prosthetic leg is 3D printed and implanted. With the manufacturing time and cost of traditional prosthetics taking weeks and costing from 5,000 to 50,000, 3D printed prosthetics can often be manufactured in a day and cost as little as $50 and still fit and work better than the higher priced models. This allows many people who couldn't previously afford prosthetics to have a better life. Previous to 3D printing, custom implants could take weeks. Now these implants can be, off, uh, be created in a day. In 2012, a 3D prosthetic lower jaw is printed and implanted into an 83-year-old woman with a chronic bone infection. Using scanning technologies, digital images can be constructed to match almost any need. There are many people who have been using and experimenting with 3D printers. Some examples in the health industry include the following. Surgeons use 3D printed organs to simulate surgery. Using customized fixtures and surgical tools could possibly reduce surgery time and recovery time for the patients. Scientists and researchers have created a cell printer that can print live human embryonic stem cells. This can be used to potentially grow organs and test drugs on human tissues. Physicians and patients benefit from 3D printing of medical equipment, products, customized implants, and prosthetics. 
Medical students and teachers can use various 3D printed anatomical models in their studies. As with all new technology, there are several pros and cons that must be considered. Pros. A wide array of manufactured products can be produced. Items can be printed faster than some items can be traditionally built. Costs over time are reduced. They print only what is needed at the time. There's no need to store extra inventory. Increase in jobs for engineers to design and build 3D printers and technicians to maintain them. Manufacturing of human body parts or organs for lifelike 3D models for surgeons to practice on. Could enable doctors to tailor treatments to individuals rather than blanket treatments. And personalized drug dosing. The cons include limited materials to use for printing at the moment. Counterfeit items will be easier to produce and harder to distinguish. Manufacturing jobs will decrease. Size limitations of printed objects based on the size of the printer and is enhancing the human body really ethically. There are as many possibilities for the application of 3D printing in the medical field as one can imagine. From printing pharmaceuticals to printing organs, we are on the cusp of a tremendously exciting growth period for this technology. In recent years, there have been many instances that suggest the improvement 3D printing can have on the medical field, its services, and its effectiveness. One such example is the first ever printed pharmaceutical, Spritum, in 2015. This medication was approved by the FDA and was used to treat seizures. The method by which this medication was produced, via 3D printing, actually allowed for the drug to be administered far more effectively than traditional stamped pills. Another example is the printing and use of organs in preoperative procedures and planning. Doctors are now using printable organs to build a workable, comprehensive surgical strategy. This increases effectiveness of the surgery while reducing overall operative time, thus correlating with lower patient morbidity. This will vastly improve the training and preparation for future surgeons and medical students by allowing them a hands-on model with which to prepare. As the technology progresses, these same surgeons will eventually be using these methods to prepare to transplant working versions of printed organs as well. There have already been cases where kidneys, bone grafts, and other organs were printed and successfully transplanted. This technology, as it becomes more efficient and readily available, will make transplant waiting lists a thing of the past. We must be careful, however, not to put the cart before the horse. Much of this technology is still in the infant stages of development and is years away from being approved by the FDA for clinical use. Kenneth Foster, in his 2016 article detailing the direction of medical 3D printing, states that while there is extensive talk and expectation around this technology, as of yet there is limited success. However, the unprecedented flexibility of this technology opens many doors for future research and innovations. So long as this growth complies with the strict ethical and testing guidelines that emphasize safety, there are many applications with which to apply 3D printing.